Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here. And I'm going to do just a general reading for Earth Signs for the weekend of the 4th of December. General reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. I hope everyone's well. Earth Signs, Earth Signs. What do we need to know? King of Cups, nice. Could be dealing with a water sign, but um, just maybe um, a new relationship coming in, an, an offer coming in, something that's stable. An offer of love maybe coming in. Ooh. Eight of Wands reversed. So I'm just thinking, like, maybe this is something you've always wanted, but it's been delayed. This offer coming in has been delayed. Eight of Wands is the arrows of love. Messages coming in, text messages. Maybe check to make sure that they're not delayed or gone into spam or, you know. Seven of Pentacles reversed. That's come out quite a few times, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. It's almost like um, a false start, I think, or something not quite getting off the ground. So why is this not quite getting off the ground? Why is it a false start? Because the messages were delayed. There is an opportunity to find love or love is coming in, but it's just blocked or delayed for some reason. King of Pentacles, maybe because you're dealing with just an earth, maybe because you're not ready. To male energies, but King of Cups, King of Pentacles, not not the best, most honest person in the world. Not great with money, having some financial difficulties. But maybe this is just you not feeling quite ready to find love or being overwhelmed by this offer because it's nice, and you're not used to. Excuse me. Um, that type of love or that type of honesty moon reverse it's come out a few times three times in the readings that i've done for this weekend so a lot of illusions um delusions trying to hide something maybe someone is trying to hide the fact that they really like you maybe you're in a position where you might work with someone and they really like you but they can't tell you because they work with you maybe it comes out this weekend that you um know maybe someone Maybe there's a bit of gossip around about this person liking you, but you, you're you shy about it. Let's see what else. Uh, Six of Swords reversed. Yeah, there's some blocks here. Not being able to move forward because you don't know the truth 100%. The Emperor. A lot of male energy in the spread. One of the other ones had a lot of female energy. The emperor can be a judge. It can be a father figure, an uncle, brother. Someone in authority or someone that's, for me, quite leadership. But a, a stable force, upright, a stable force in your life. Is that what you're lacking? Maybe you didn't have that stable force of a father when you were younger and you crave that now like if we don't have sometimes our fathers as um, a compass to what is a good relationship speaking as a female um, if they're not around in those informative years you know sometimes we can choose the wrong guy or if our father's the wrong guy we can follow suit and pick someone like him or it's almost like someone's getting to the realization that um, their father wasn't a great role model so they followed suit and met people like that or dated people like that or the other way around you know you want someone stable like your father so if that makes sense um, what have we got there the uh, nine of swords a lot of worry sleepless nights I feel there's some family issues here. I think this is just a lot of family issues that are unresolved that need to be addressed. 
uh, this weekend or, or might be addressed this weekend. I think there needs to be conversations had about the past, the world, because things need to clear out to bring something new in. And if you're still holding on to the past, I feel someone might have some, because you've got three male energies here, I think someone's really holding on to the past. I think it's about a father figure. It could be about a partner, but I think it's it's about the past and, and releasing it. Five of Swords, there's conflict. So you could be dealing with one of the fixed signs. Um, conflict, there's conflict that needs to be resolved from the past. Six of Pentacles um, reversed. So, you know, the six can be about family too. So I think there's just some unresolved issues with um, a father, a father figure that need to be really addressed because it's not healthy. The fool, because you want with the wheel, with the world and with the fool, there's a new beginning starting. Someone wants to take a leap of faith, but I think there's some things that need to be addressed with the father and the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles. So, you know, there's some really neat things coming in, but I think there needs to be temperance reversed. You know, there needs to be um, a, a conversations had with, uh, you know, this could be about money. It could be just about issues within the family, but I think there needs to be some really strong conversations this weekend, Earth Signs, about the past, about a male figure in the past that maybe caused a lot of conflict. They might be coming back to cause conflict, but you need to shut them out because you've got the Wheel of Fortune, you've got the World Card, you've got the um, you've got the Fool, King of Cups. There's really neat things manifesting. Ace of Pentacles, there's new beginnings manifesting, and this person might be coming back because they want a piece of the pie. It's like that um, Kelly um, Clarkson song. Um, you didn't want me you know that that one she sung at the American Idol and it talks about her father you know she was worthless when she didn't have money and then when she made something of herself he came back it's almost like you're making something of yourself and someone wants to come back no chance someone you, you're making something of yourself and someone wants to come back Messages may be coming in. We all have free will. We do what we want. But you're making something of yourself, which is amazing. So just an oracle message, Capricorn. Spread your wings, Capricorn. It's time. You're making something of yourself. Keep following the path that you're on because it's leading to abundance. Taurus. I have Taurus in my chart. What do we need to know? Crown Chakra. So I've got Aquarius, I had solar plexus, and now crown chakra. So I've been doing meditations a lot every night, whether they be um, meditations on manifesting or just third eye um, um, meditations and music, just listening to it as I sleep. So it's obviously really important for me to think about um, those chakras clearing them out or opening them up so um virgo refusing to see what are you refusing to see virgo what are you refusing to see and then on the bottom of the deck blossom might be a pregnancy coming up for someone um a blossoming career blossoming relationship um blossoming abundance abundance man far out the energy to manifest is huge as the year is ending it is huge you would be so surprised if you really dive deep what you can manifest it's crazy man money is your divine birthright you are a money magnet money flows to you in expected and unexpected ways wealth is your just divine birthright man just abundance is yours so I think there's some family issues that need to be addressed, um, new opportunities, growth, change, new beginnings, a totally new direction, um, manifesting, um, it's all happening for you, um, Earth Signs, and it's really starting to, um, it's coming full circle, something's coming full circle, but definitely dealing with some dad issues.